Yeah. I'm here to see Mr. Pecorino. Well, I didn't think you were here to sell me insurance. So, you're here to work for him, shoot him, or arrest him. Or maybe all three. It's okay, Mrs. P. I'll deal with this. Yeah. I'm in a life-threatening situation, and I'm having a conversation here. He could have killed me. You're useless. Organized crime, my ass. With guys like you, no wonder this organization is doing so wonderfully. You, Nick? Come on. Peg. What? Someone for you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, were you followed? I don't think so. Oh. I mean, who knows? Exactly. I mean, we can pretty much guarantee you were followed. The question is, did you know about it? And right now, I don't know the answer to that question. But to be honest, I don't really care, neither. I know enough about you, your cousin, your friends. I know a lot of people around you end up in jail. Some, maybe. But that's the same all over town. This is a dying game. I don't understand. I mean, I'm gonna ask you to deal with a problem. And you're gonna deal with it. Or you're not going to deal with it, and you're going to be a problem that somebody else has to deal with. But me? I ain't doing nothing. Yes, okay. So what's the problem? We'll get to that. Anthony! Yo! Did Phil call? Not yet, boss. Ray called. <sighs> of course he did. I wonder, is it better to have a talented snake? Or a stoical lion who's going to be cut down in his prime? I don't know. What do you think? I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> you do. But I ain't gonna push. Anthony, get in here! Boss? Where's Big Pete and Marco? On their way. <sighs> Listen to me. Here's what the plan is. Me and two of my guys are gonna meet with a couple of boys from the Pavano family. I need these guys if we're ever gonna be taken serious. You know. Get on the commission. Now, the thing is, these guys ain't, shall we say, shown us the appropriate respect in the past. I want you to run security. Keep an eye on things, because they won't be looking out for you. Ah, here they are. It's either them or the cops. It's them. They're outside. Looks like Ray's here, too. I know it's them. God, give me strength. I'll be out in a minute. Look after Ray till I get back. Hey, Tone. Hey, Ray. I need to speak with Pegorino. Hey, what, what are you doing? He's, he's busy. Hey, Nico. <laughs> oh, boss. Salve. Get up. I'm sorry, boss. This guy's everywhere like a freaking cockroach or something, huh? <laughs> In a good way. Ray, you and me is gonna talk. The boss has got business. Yeah. Uh, boss, I got you this because I care. You boys have fun. Jimmy's on his way. Nico, right? Skipper said you'd be driving. The sit-down's over at the old refinery in the Actor Industrial Park. What are you waiting for? Hit it! Let's go! You guys all friends now? Nice. You best hope you made a good first impression on Nico, boys. He's gonna be the one looking out for you during this meet. Well, he's being paid to look out for me, so saving you guys' asses will be overtime. <laughs> That's just if the shit goes down, right, boss? The Pavanos wouldn't fuck with you. Wake up, you fucking mook. Everybody's trying to fuck everybody. We're just hoping they got the manners to smile to our faces before they do it. You giving them a nice little offering, though, Skip. They ain't gonna turn up their noses at that. God, give me strength. It's like I'm dealing with children here. No wonder I ain't on a commission when my muscle is this stupid. If the Pavanos is a Liberty City family, what are they doing coming out to Alderney for this meet? I let them operate out here from time to time. The Pavanos work a little shy business on this side of the West River. They also control a few bookies. I don't mind them taking a bite. I don't even make them give me a taste. Hopefully they're gonna respect that when it comes time to ask them for a favor. You can't be too confident if you've got me here. Your insurance. 
I'm the captain of this ship because I look at every possibility. Check to make sure my ass is covered in each situation. I think about what's gonna happen if this guy screws me, if this one turns states, and so on. That's why you're the boss, boss. Shut up! Jesus, you're worse than my mother. Anyways, that's why Ray ain't ever gonna make it to the level he wants to reach. He's too busy thinking about himself. That diamond fuck up his case in point. I'm like a fucking chess player. You're covering me for six moves ahead when me and the Pavanos is just putting our first pawns out there on a checkerboard. Ah, I like what you did there, Skip. Real clever. Can you do me a favor? Can you just shoot yourself to save me the trouble of doing it? Can you, Marco? Jesus! Give him the rifle, Marco! You expect him to start throwing empty cans from up there if this thing kicks off? No way, Skip. Here you go. Nico, go up into that building. There should be a spot where you can see over the meat. Don't start shooting unless they attack us. I don't want this thing screwing up for no good reason. Best part.
fucking Pavanos! If the rest of the commission knew they did this, I'm sure the whole city will be up in arms. The motherfuckers try to whack me at a sit down! They're trying to make off with my tribute! The fucking nerve! We're gonna ice those fucks, Nico! The fucking Pavanos! If we kill every one of them slime balls, then maybe the other families will give me their seat on the commission! Fucking Liberty City family! Get them, Nico! I'm doing my best! Yeah, well, best ain't good enough! I did my best! Made a name for the Pegarinos. Earned a lot of good money for a lot of bad people. And this happens. They try to fucking kill me! Well, at least they had the respect to do it at the meet. They didn't come to your home while you and your wife were sleeping. Let's make them wish they was never born! Motherfucker! to my fucking wound! Ugh. Here you go. You're a good earner, Nico. Take me back to my place. I can't believe that Pavanos would treat me like this! Pegarino name should mean something to them. It means something in Alderney. Even if it don't in Algonquin. They better not think of crossing that West River and not looking over their shoulders. Too bad about Marco and Pete. Marco and Pete? Oh, yeah. Those guys didn't make it, did they? Well, too fucking bad. They knew what they were signed on for. Weren't complaining on their way out, were they? No, they weren't. Happy to be on board with the skipper. Yeah, well, they seemed like good kids. Ah, these kids come and go. It ain't worth paying attention to them until they prove they can survive. I just move on and hire some wannabe wise guys off the street. It's that simple? Has to be. I only start paying attention to my crew when they start putting me in an awkward position, either because they know too much in my rat or because they got too much power and they're too smart to get themselves clipped. Ray was nothing to me until he started earning big and sticking his nose in places that didn't belong. Rats seem to get everywhere you don't want them to be. Only way you know is by finding their shit all over the place in the morning. Phil's different. He's been my man for a while. I mean, how much can I do with a guy who ain't a full Italian? He's 90% Irish. It don't do too well for the reputation of us Pegarinos having St. Patrick that high up in our organization. You see the respect we're getting out on the street? Jesus! You did good, kid. Kept your head when everyone else was losing theirs. Sometimes literally. We're gonna need your skills again soon. Arrivederci.
LG, thanks. Sorry, I need this bike. That was not my first thought when I heard. I'm happy for him. Sure you are. I'm happy too. Fucking happy. Bruce is ecstatic, homie. Just, you know, kinda gonna, gonna, gonna miss him is all. He's not going anywhere. Him and Mallory are only getting married. We all have to settle down sometime. What, you think I'm getting old? I got the abs of a 17-year-old gymnast and the forehead of a toddler, baby. Brucey don't need to settle down just yet. Sure, sure. Enjoy all that extra pussy then, Brucey. I'll see you around. past it this time. Does that worry you? When you marry a dragon, you gotta expect a few knights are gonna turn up to try to <laughs> slay him. Jackasses. All of them. All of you. Nice talking with Whatever. you. Whatever. You have fun. Pick a swell guy to kill. Hopefully someone with a young family who really miss him. Hey! Hey! Is Mr. Pegorino around? Oh, uh, uh, sure. I I'll get him. Boss! Anthony, will you shut up? In fact, will you fuck off? Go on, get out of here. Mm. Don't come back till you get a brain implant or something. I'm sorry, I I'm so Nice to see you, Nico. You too. I got a couple of things I want to talk to you about. First up, can you kill this shithead? Sure. <laughs> Second, come in here. Oh, fuck. So, listen. We got a bit of a problem with the Pavanos. Yes, I noticed that at your meeting with them. The way they look at us, we're bottom feeders. Always have been. We ain't a real family to them. Just a bunch of Guernsey Goombas. When things are cool, we're getting fucked. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, sure. Listen, some of their boys are in town today. Gonna collect their piece of an old and a bookie ring. Where it is, they're at the diner in Acta. Find them, and follow them to the meet. You disrupt it, and I'll let you keep the money. But make sure you hit the Pavanos real hard, Gabish. Yeah, Gabish. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. 
think that guy works for the Pegorinos. God, they must be desperate. Let's lose him on the way to the meet. Got that stuff, Jimmy. Well done, my boy. Oh, I hope you made him suffer. Gates from that old on A's Pegarino turf. Was there a nice little haul in it for you? All right. Well, maybe you'll give me a little taste of it. And something up the ladder. That's how us Italians been doing things for centuries. Good thing I'm not Italian. Can I have one of them, please? for you. Great, thanks. You know I'm already working for a 
They're scum. The Pegarina? They're not a family. Gravelli is the only man who can get what you need done. He's in Shockland Medical Center. Tell him he was sent by a new He's inspecting. I don't know if you've heard it, but my brother Derek's dead. No shit. Yeah, I just hope he was smacked out of his brain when it happened, because it wouldn't have suited him to be jonesing when he died. There isn't any good way to go, though, is there? I guess not. Gerald got arrested, too. They got him in the Albany State Correctional Facility. They took Jerry down? Don't worry, he's always being hauled in, but the charges don't stick. Come to Derek's funeral. It means a lot to the family. It's today at the church in Suffolk. I'll stop by, man. I'll see you there. Remember to wear a suit, Nico. We can't have you dressed like a bum in the church. Hello? What do you want? Where to? Hey, Kate. I'm sorry to hear about your brother. Yeah. I didn't really know Derek that well. I remember looking up to him as a kid. He had a dream back then. He was inspired. The Derek that came back to Liberty City was broken. He probably wanted to die. Yeah. It still has to be hard for you. It's hard for my mom. I'm trying to be there for her. Are you going to be at the funeral? Sure. I'll see you there, Kate. Goodbye. To Liberty Lane, please. Okie dokie, friend. Here we are. And while no one is suggesting he was an angel, <laughs> none of us are. That is why God put us on earth and not in heaven. The trials of humanity were sometimes too much for him to bear. But he was a committed family man and a man of beliefs. God asks us to show faith. And that is what he gave us in his way. Derek gave so much of himself and will be sorely missed. Amen. 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 Now, if you will all please join me in the procession to the cemetery. I'm uh, sorry for your loss. I'm not. I'm sorry for Ma. I gave up on my brothers a long time ago. The most I ever expected from them was to put flowers on their coffins. You've got a strange family. Who doesn't? I don't know.
There can't be a lot more where they came from, right? I think we got them! Make a run for the cars! Okay, Nico. Time to get out of here. But I ain't leaving my poor dead brother to the mercy of them animals. All right, man. We're burying Derek in the graveyard in Steinway. Let's get there. Shit, we lost the back doors. Don't lose my brother, too. Go easy there, Nico. Hell! Piece of advice. Don't get up when I fucking put you down. You ain't no fucking match for me! Yards. Turn left. We got cops in the vicinity, Nico. Turn left. I smacked a lot bigger assholes than you! They're really giving it to us, Nico! to phone us no more, thank fuck. If Derek was alive, he'd need a shitload of horse to deal with the stress of this situation. If Derek was alive, he wouldn't be in this situation. That's a valid point, Nico. Who knows what sort of situation we'd be in. Derek needed a good dose of smack to cope with most of the situations that life threw at him, though. You gotta admit that. We all have our ways of coping, Pecky. That was Derek's. He had the hard life. He's having a hard death, too, if this is anything to go by. I never knew it was so difficult to put a body in the ground. That's why I normally tie breeze blocks to him and throw him in the humble. Is that what you suggest we do with your brother? You're a sick man, Nico. I'd fucking slap you if I didn't love you so much. It's only consecrated ground for a brother of mine. Evil man. Finally, it's time to say goodbye to my brother. Amen. Thanks, Nico. What for? Derek never had many friends. He sort of lived in his own head. It means a lot, you coming here and helping this messed up family of mine. I did not come for Derek. I came for you and Packy. Like I said, thanks. Give me a call sometime, Nico. Algonquin Duke's Expressway, please. You got it. 